We're here at New Life Scientific in the tech shop, and today we have this really nice, super clean Biospherix hypoxia glove box chamber. Um, we did take the cover off the front here. Um, uh, you can see there's no gloves here. And I laid it off over on the side here on the table. And I did this on the video just because I want to get some really good shots of the inside to show you how real nice, uh, nice the system really is. Um, we'll just move in here. I want to show you the incubators first. Um, you can see the two incubators here uh, from the inside, and I'll also move out here to the outside. Um, the two incubators, and you can notice on the back they do have the sensor modules on them. Both systems there. And I'm going to open up the doors here, show you the inside. You have these slide racks in here. There's three slide racks, and also at the bottom here you have a condensation pan that you can uh, keep moisture in the ovens here. And down here, that one only has one slide out rack. I'm to buy the two and then the pan again. But really, really nice. I just uh, super clean um, all the way around. Very little use here. Um, and then uh, at the bottom here, you see it has a stainless steel insert. Um, and in the back, they put an outlet plug and then uh, the house light at the top. And then uh, And over here, you can see it has the pass-through chamber. You can open this up here. You can see in here to the other side where you'd bring things in from the outside to pass things through. Move around here, you can see the control panel for the chamber and the pass-through chamber. And here again is the other side. And then this is the control area. Now this controls only the inside of the glove box and the pass-through chamber. Um, it does not control the incubators. Um, the incubators actually have their own controller that's very similar to this, but it's a standalone box that you could perhaps sit it on top of the unit. But we do not have that unit. Um, it is available from the company, but uh, we are looking for one uh, perhaps on the market so we can make it a complete unit. But as of now, we do not have the, I think it's called a C4 control, um, C4-2 controller that controls the incubators. And we also do not have any software for this. Um, it is also available from the manufacturer. Um, but other than that, it's complete. Uh, you could definitely start some uh, growing some cells in this. Um, you can see here, I've, uh, in here it's got the sensors here too. This is very convenient. Uh, you've got this that slides out to get easier access to the inside of it. But you can see here all the work chamber pump there, the O2 sensor, CO2 sensor. And the RHO3 sensor, and then the buffer chamber, which is um, what I just showed you there. It also has a pump and a sensor for there. And then you got, of course, all the controls inside. But like I said, it just conveniently slides in, and you can shut the door and then use the screws there. Um, it also has a small air control box at the top there with it. And then you can see on the back here where you would put all the gases, and then the control panel, monitors, and keeps the right amount of gases and we got the exhaust here. Um, it also does have a, a UV light um, down here. You can see the UV light will turn it on and then the lights here we've got turned on already. And then the clean circulation air fan, um, which would just circulate the air. You can see the UV lights on in there. You can hear the fan running in here. And it just pulls the air through the UV light and recirculates it. Um, like I guess it's a really nice system. Um, complete other than the control panel for the two incubators um, like I said we'll try to locate that but uh, if you got any questions just give us a call here at New Life Scientific thank you for watching